So let us bring our prayers of dedication and thanksgiving and intercession to God. Our great God, we recognise your goodness to us in the material blessings we enjoy and the security that we appreciate so much. Having been blessed with 75 years of peace and prosperity in our country. This is the weekend when we celebrate VJ Day, the end of the war. We give thanks for these years in between and would remember the awful devastation of war and all those who gave their lives for our country and so many from other nations who lost theirs in the war. Our great God, have mercy as we pray for our troubled world in these days. One of the small things we can do just now is represented in the offerings that we make month by month for the ongoing work in Sandiford and for the wider work of the Gospel in the UK and abroad. And so, Heavenly Father, we, we do bring these and we dedicate our lives to you again. We pray this morning, Heavenly Father, for those in our congregation who find these days of restriction hard and lonely, separated from family, friends and loved ones, not easy. We pray for those who are undertaking treatment or waiting for much needed treatment. And we think of those who are particularly weakened by the demands of long duration of treatment. We pray too for those still mourning the loss of loved ones. Our thoughts, Heavenly Father, are particularly with the three families who so tragically lost their husband or father in the awful train accident near Aberdeen this past week. And for those who are so badly affected by the flooding that came with it in other places in Scotland and in the UK and other parts. We include the emergency services who have been so hard pressed as a result. We pray, Heavenly Father, for our government as the pandemic still threatens to spread and the economic effects are so widespread, affecting jobs, education and even mental health. We pray for countries where the virus is spreading and the medical facilities are limited. We think of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Brazil, Peru, and the many countries in Africa. Lord, have mercy. We pray for countries where climate change is causing major flooding and difficulties, like in China, where the dams and the great rivers are at breaking point. Lord, have mercy. And the cities are being flooded. Lord, have mercy. We pray for countries that are at war, where famine is rife and where locusts are causing devastation. Lord, have mercy. We thank you for the hope there is in the Gospel, the saving news of Jesus. And we pray for those bringing it to the young folk in our nation. Many of them now returning to school uh, and we pray for them and their teachers. And we pray for those overseas who have, who have not heard the gospel before. We think of Sarah in Taiwan, Caroline Wright returning to the school in Pakistan. Lord be with them. Give them strength. Give strength to their hands and courage to their hearts in these difficult days. Lord, forgive our slowness to trust you and failure to see you working in all our circumstances for our good. Give us a heart for prayer and a vision for, for your service. In all these things, Father, we give thanks. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let us sing again. Um, everyone needs compassion. And after this, Michael Healy will bring us God's word. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> 